I am going to show you how to create a timer in Storyline. And first up, we're going to create the timer itself. Then we're, I'm going to show you how to use it in our results slide. And then we'll be adding minutes to the timer, which is a little tricky. I'm going to show how to use it with a slider, which is really simple. And then last, I'm going to show you how to display it, which again is kind of tricky. So let's get started. I'm in a brand new Storyline file but you can add this to an existing file if you want. Um, we're gonna jump into the slide master. I'm just gonna use the blank layout. It might be wise to create a new layout called timer so you know exactly which slides are using the timer and which aren't. And first thing I'm gonna do is create a layer called timer one, and then create another layer called timer two. And I'm gonna create two Actually, we'll just start with one variable right now, seconds. And it's a number variable, and it starts at zero. So timer one, we're going to make 0.5 seconds, or half a second. And same with timer two. So on our base layer, on the slide itself, we're going to show layer one, timer one, when timeline starts. At the end of timer one, we're going to show layer timer two when timeline ends. And then at the end of timer two, we're gonna show layer timer one. So basically we just created a little loop. Every, so this does a half second, then it shows timer two, which does a half second, then it goes back to timer one. And basically we're using that to force storyline to count seconds for us. So at the end of timer two, we're going to adjust variable seconds and just add one when the timeline ends. We gotta make sure to put it in front of the show layer timer one, otherwise it'll show layer timer one and the, the other trigger will never happen. So that has to come first. And that's really all you need to do to create a basic timer. And let's just get out of here and show you what it looks like by throwing in a text box, calling the seconds variable. And if we did it right, our seconds are counting up and it'll just count and count and count and I don't know when Storyline will stop counting or at what value it can't add anymore. Anyway, so that's a simple timer. Now you can use that in a lot of different ways like adding a timer to a quiz question. Like they only have 10 seconds to answer it and once the variable seconds gets over 10 then you jump to the next slide and say you failed. Or you can do something with a little bit more advanced math and say if they answer when seconds equals one, give them this many points or multiply their points by seconds or whatever. So I kind of just showed you how to use it in a results slide. So if you have a whole section you want to time and then at the very last slide you just throw your seconds on there and you use a different layout. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new slide. And we'll just use title only. I'm just gonna throw this on here. And let's preview this whole scene. So the timer's counting up because this is the blank master slide. But then as soon as we move on to the next one, it shows you it's stuck at five because so it counted up during that section and then it says, oh, that section took you five seconds to complete. Now adding minutes. This is gonna be tricky. Let's first start by adding a variable called minutes and it's a number variable. We gotta get back to our master slide to fiddle with it. So on our blank slide, on timer two, it says add one to seconds when timeline ends, but we need to make it so once seconds hits 60, then you add one to minutes and reset seconds. So let's add a new trigger. We're gonna adjust variable minutes. We're gonna add one when timeline ends, timer two, if seconds equals 60. So seconds equal to 60 and make sure it goes in, in front of that one. So now when seconds hit, hits 60, it'll add one to minutes. So then it'll say one minute. And then we need to add another one to reset seconds. So let's adjust variable seconds. 
assignment zero when timeline ends if seconds is equal to 60. And of course, put it in front of show layer timer one so it actually happens. Okay, let's use it with a slider. And this is actually super simple. I'm just gonna throw a slider on here and just attach it to the seconds variable. And so if you have a slide with a question that you say, okay, I only wanna give them 10 seconds to answer this, then you say start zero and 10, and then you can throw a trigger in here, jump to fail slide if seconds equals 10 or when slider moves to 10 and so forth. And let's just take a look at this slide to see if it works. So you can see every time the seconds moves, the slider moves and I could actually drag the slider around and it looks like it keeps adding. So that's kind of fun. All right, last up, displaying the timer with the minutes because, you know, we've kind of displayed the timer with a slider or just showing seconds. But once we throw minutes in here, it gets tricky. And I'll show you what I mean. So right now we've got zero, zero. And this just doesn't look like how we're used to seeing time displayed. We're usually used to seeing it like 06, 07, 009, and then 10. And so we need to fix that. So I've got this text box right here. And I actually need to put it on the master slide. So let's go back to the slide master. So these triggers on the timer layers will actually adjust that. So let's throw it on the blank or on the base layer, minutes, seconds, and we're going to change the state, or we're going to add a state. I'm going to call it 0 to 9, and I'm actually going to make it the initial state, because when you start at 0 seconds, you want to see the 0. And I forgot to actually edit this, so the 0 to 9 state has a 0 in front of it, whereas the normal state doesn't. So now on timer 2, on the layer, we're going to add a new trigger. Change the state of text box 1 to 0 to 9. When timeline ends, if seconds is less than or equal to 9. OK, and make sure it's in front of that show layer timer 1. Now we're going to change the state of text box one to normal when timeline ends when seconds is greater than or equal to 10. And of course, put it in front of show layer timer one. So if it worked, let's cross our fingers and preview this. And just for fun, I'm going to insert another slider and attach it to minutes. Let's just make it go up to five minutes. And this one will go up to 60. OK, you can see 0000102. So that's working just fine. Let's see how it does when it gets to 10. Okay, it's a tiny bit glitchy, but that's about as good as we can do. I've played around with like moving triggers around, like which one comes first, and no matter what, you're going to get a glitch somewhere because Storyline just can't keep up with how fast we want it to be. So that's just kind of something you have to deal with. Okay, here we are at the moment of truth. Let's see if seconds resets and minutes goes up to one. Perfect. Okay, so the timer works.